Orange Elementary, we are trying to instill um, leadership in our students um, through the seven habits. Uh, we've te taught the seven habits for a couple years now, and we've noticed that the students' self-confidence, their leadership, um, academic success, everything has been going up. Um, we've noticed they've been problem solving more often, and they're just really proud of all the work they've done here at Orange and all the habits. Um, we can tell that they're living the seven habits not only at school but also at home and they're sharing it with their families and also their communities. You could be be proactive by being in charge of you. We have very exciting things going on here and I also get to see Leader in Me from a parent perspective. Uh, my daughter's also at a Leader in Me school. So I get to hear the language at home too and see that our kids really do retain what we work so hard to teach them here during the day uh, and they use it in their daily lives. Um, also I'm the guidance counselor so I see the students using Leader in Me language as they're trying to work through problems and um, kind of help themselves manage feelings. So that's been really neat too. They really do generalize that information. My best, very best, very best, boom, boom, boom. When I'm starting on the tax, I see the end. I think habit two is all about putting, putting things together. You help somebody if they need help, and if they don't, and if somebody's bullying, you help them too. with second grade representing habit three put first things first and what we are doing behind us here we are putting big rocks and little rocks the big rocks represent the important things that we need to get done first and the little rocks are things that we try to get in when we have our big rocks or our big things all finished. So it's very important to put first things first and then play later. Leader in Me is all about working together and not having one kid left out or alone. It's all about having more than one person do something. Don't let kids down, be nice, and stand up for people that are bullying other people. I believe that the Leader in Me program helps inspire kids to learn because it makes them in charge of their own choices. It's, a, it's really a pretty simple system. They have a choice to make and if they make the right choice then the, it's a positive, positive behavior gets a positive result. If it's not the right choice then there's always consequences so it's a great way to inspire them to do better in the things that we all wish that we could do better at. Um, I think it makes a difference because it gives parents and it gives teachers and siblings and grandparents common language to use. You know when the kids come home at night and you ask them to put their backpacks away and they don't, instead of getting frazzled and starting to yell at them, you can, you can say, remember, first things first, we have to do our work before we play, and they know automatically what that means. And as a parent, you don't have to get frustrated. You could just use those words. And I think that's true in the classroom, too. If the teacher sees something going on that shouldn't be, if kids aren't getting along, they can remind them to seek first to understand and then be understood or to do their first things first so that they get their work done before they want to play or talk. I think the Leader in Me program, not everybody is a natural leader as we generally think about them. Um, but it does inspire kids to be leaders of themselves and leaders of their choices and their actions, which is what we want for everybody to bring out the best in that child. Maybe they're, um, you know, they prefer to kind of be behind the scenes and make things work smoothly that way. The leader in me works for them to do that because they're making the positive choices to get the right results for them. So I think that is how it brings out the leader in each person so that they can be the best that they can be, whatever that may be.
like, I'm, like, this is, like, I'm being proactive and kind of taking charge on a musical instrument. So. We're at the synergized table. Um, our puzzle is about the first one we do it you can't talk to anyone and you can't you can't we can't help you and it's really hard most people have gotten haven't even finished it in a hundred and one one minute and ten seconds and then um, so then when we, when they do figure it out or when they don't figure it out we stop them at 110 seconds and when they are done we get to help them and, s and see what we notice and see if they can um, try and, and figure it out set go so when I first did this I was just about as confused as you are but then I noticed that this piece right here has a little curved edge just like this and that's the only one that has that curve so and then this one goes right there yeah Stop. yeah you, you had it right yeah look it so you can have it like that like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. And now then. This time we can help you with the pillow. Huh? So that last really piece. You and, and stop. Ready? Set. And 27, 27 seconds. seconds. Nice. Much better. See, it's much easier to when, synergize, when, isn't it? And if you think about synergizing, synergizing means two is better than one. And what that means is that, um, ask yourself a question like, uh, what is better, one or two? Like, when you're doing a puzzle, if you have two, it can help you do the puzzle, but if you only have one, you can be stumped a lot more. School is a great school, and uh, Terry and uh, Trask and her staff are, are great leaders themselves in, uh, in uh, leading the old Orange organization. proactive because I don't push people down in the hallway. <laughs>